guys so and welcome back to my booktube channel thank you so much to those of you who checked out my la um, my very first video it means a lot to me just thank you so much for checking it out so in today's video i'm going to be filming my august tbr so far on my TBR I have eight books that I want to read so let's get into the video. So with the first book that I have on my TBR is The Grim Fairy Tales, this gorgeous Barnes & Noble edition. I got it today off book depository it came in the mail basically about this book it's fairy tales told different these are what the re the reason why it's called grim is it hasn't got so nice endings like the ones that we know in the disney movies so I'm really looking forward to reading this book. I was planning on maybe reading a story once a night just to make the book last longer and there's quite a few pages in there. It's got gorgeous, gorgeous gold sprayed edges. It's, it's so gorgeous. And by the way, I'll just leave links in the script description down below of all of the books that I've mentioned in case you guys want to pick them up for yourself so on to the next book <laughs> Noble edition I got it today off book depository it came in the mail basically about this book it's fairy tales told different these are what well, the re the reason why it's called grim is it hasn't got so nice endings like the ones that we know in the disney movies so i'm really looking forward to reading this book i was planning on maybe reading a story once a night just to make the book last longer and there's quite a few pages in there it's got gorgeous gorgeous gold sprayed edges it's it's so gorgeous oh and by the way oh and by the way i'll just leave links in the script description down below of all of the books that i've mentioned in case you guys want to pick them up for yourself so on to the next book <laughs> Old things it's uh by sarah anderson it's it's a graphic novel about a vampire falling in love with a wolf i haven't um looked too much up about this book but i've seen it on books with chloe so you should definitely give her a follow she's mentioned this book in her video before and it made me want to buy it so i'm really looking forward to reading the book it should take me only a day and i'm pretty sure i'm gonna really enjoy it so on to the next book the next book i have here is James Herbert, The Ghost of Sleth. It is, I think, a sequel to Haunted, the first book I read, but I'm not too sure. I think it's a completely different story. It's not a companion, even though it says it's book but I have read a few pages of it I've started it already I'm on page 10 it's um about this little boy who sadly drowns in a bar 
in the bath unexpectedly so maybe the mum is suspected of doing it I'm not too sure I just want to finish the book and tell you guys about it it is it does have the same guy in it David Ash but from the few pages I've read so far he is having a bit of a rough time at the moment dealing with the outcome of the last investigation that he did he's gone back to drinking and smoking and he's still thinking about the girl that he loved so hopefully in this book we will have growing experiences He's just drinking to try cope with everything, even now he's not too sure if he himself believes in the supernatural, but he never did before, but with what happened in the... If you've read the book, you'll know what I'm talking about, but in the house that he went to investigate, it turned out... He just second guesses things now. This one is a bit longer than the last one. This one is 400. It has 406 pages. I'm just really look. I'm really looking forward to reading it because I really enjoyed the last story. I'm interested to see if I like the story better or if. I don't really like it. I might not give it that much stars. I'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> Hopefully I will get through all of these books this month. I just have to see because with some books I'm really, really quick at reading it. With this book here, The Ghosts of Sleeth, I'm basically, I'm listening to the audio book whilst reading it. So... I retain most of the information in it. I also just really like listening to things. And the narrator is really, really good for the books. He was really good for Haunted, Haunted and also really good for this book. So, yeah. On to the next book. The next book that I have on my TBR is The Labyrinth. If you're not familiar with the story, it's basically about this girl who wishes her brother to go to the Goblin King and that she has to go through this maze to get her brother back. It's a really, really good movie, so... I've always wanted to read the book. This is actually a replica of the book that she holds in the movie. So I got this book off eBay. It's just really gorgeous. I really, really like it. <laughs> I love the movie too, so. I'm interested to see if this book has more info than the movie or movie did or if it's just the exact same. The girl Sarah. <laughs> the girl's name was Sarah. But most of you are probably familiar with the store um with the movie. It's a really, really good movie. I only watched it a few years ago but <clears throat> I wish I watched it sooner because I reckon it would have been a really something I would have really really enjoyed when I was a child it's got David Bowie in it so if you haven't watched the movie yet I definitely recommend it it's a nice cozy movie to watch I just I just thinking about it I don't want to rewatch it now <laughs> It's just one of my favourites. On to the next book. <laughs> the next book I'm going to be talking about in this video is 
Pollyanna by Eleanor H. Porter. Pollyanna is one of those classic books. I've seen I've seen the movie on Disney Plus. It is such a good warm hearted movie. I watched it for in twenty ten. I've also I've just always, always wanted to read the book, so I'm finally getting around to reading it. If you have already read the book, I really suggest you watch the movie. It's about... I'll just read to you what's on the back of the book to get more of an idea, and I'll talk to you more about it, what I think, too. When her father dies, Pollyanna is sent to live with her aunt. When her father dies, Pollyanna is sent to live with her uh, with her stern aunt Polly. She is poor, orphaned and alone, but Pollyanna just feels lucky to have an aunt at all. The truth is that her dear father, before he died, taught her a trick for life, the glad game, the aim of which is to find the good in every bad situation before long. Pollyanna's sunny outlook has brightened up in the whole town, but when a horrible accident occurs, can the game save Pollyanna? Reading the back of that is just bringing back memories of watching the movie oh, <laughs> she is such a lovely girl in the movie there's also like learning curves in it it's just <sighs> I love the movie so much so I'm really looking forward to reading the book I'm interested to see if it's a bit different from the movie or if it's the same either or um <laughs> I was in awe of the movie when I was younger. I, I've watched it last year and I still really, really like the movie. So if you suggest you watch the movie or even if you want to watch the movie first, then read the book later. It probably won't spoil anything, but... It's just such an amazing, amazing child classic movie. So I only have three books to get through. <laughs> the next book I have is Kiki Delivery Service Volume 1. I have watched the movie on Netflix. It is such a cute movie kiki is a witch kiki's delivery service now that she's 13 years old it's time for young kiki to start thinking about her future so one night under the shine of a moon she grabs her black cat Gigi, hops on her mother's broom and heads off into the night the next day she alights in a friendly oceanside city and this she tells her loyal and fairy companion is where she'll spend the next year learning how to become a real honest to goodness witch but poor Kiki there is a couple of things she forgot to plan for. F plan for first, she's got to find a place to live, and secondly, she's got to find a job. So this is volume one. In the movie, 
she goes to say with the lady at the bakery I can't remember her name and um she starts her own baking service which is why it's called Kiki's Delivery Service I also have volume two there's um four volumes all together so after I've read volume one and two I will pick up the other volumes I'm interested to see if it's a bit different than the Netflix show I'll just have to wait and see so the last book that I have on my TBR is Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte I don't know much about this book basically what I've seen online it's just a love story before um between two people but I'm not sure how exactly the story plays out I'm looking forward to reading it but it is a classic I have people either love or hate this book I just don't want to look up online about the book I just want to go into it not knowing much about uh, not knowing anything about it so I'm looking forward to seeing if I either love or dislike this book it's a gorgeous book I got this from book depository a few weeks ago it's a penguin puffin classic it is pretty I'm not sure what the is about but I really like the cover so hopefully it has something to do with trees in the book because it's just gorgeous with the gold foil and I also have I also have the Wuthering Heights movie so I'm wanting to watch the movie after I've also read the book she was a wild wicked slip of a girl she burned too bright for this world Ooh. So yeah, that's the end of my August TBR. Hopefully I can get through all of these books. I just have to wait and see. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you are having a lovely day or night and look forward to seeing you on my vi next video. Bye.